the Tequesta Indian tribe lived here, right here on Key Biscayne. And they use called? these trees for a lot of different things. Not only for food, that's a grape. Yeah, he's got a grape in his hand. Very good. Very good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they're oh, all over. Shell. I think they're just going out of season. But basically, the Sequesta Indians would take these leaves, if you guys can reach it, they're really, really thick, and they would use them as plates. You really find sea grapes in Florida and the sand dune area, so they're a really important tree. Right. Morning glory. Morning glory. Morning glory. Thank and the you. reason why they're called morning glory is that usually they only open up in the morning, and by mid afternoon, when it's really hot, they close up their flower and they hide until the sun goes back down, and then they come open up. So they're very, very pretty. Um, the other you see like little things like flying, like jumping, like fleas. It's hard. I don't know. I don't, there's not a lot in here. But can you guys see them? They like jump up and down. Yeah, I see them. You see them? Yeah. If you, yeah, they just jump around. But those are little amphipods. They're like little. Um, I, I, they look like fleas to me. But they basically just break down this detritus and they put the nutrients back into the ecosystem. So as they break down the plants. When the tide comes in, those nutrients are going to go back into the water and help the animals out there grow. And it's just a big cycle. It just goes back and forth. So it's really awesome. So when you see beaches and they try and like scoop this stuff up, it's not good because they're messing up the ecosystem of the beach. Even though it looks pretty, it's not a good idea because they're messing. They're they're really harming the animals out there. And I'm sure. Anybody want to smell it? No. Last thing. Stingray shuffle. There are stingrays here too. Okay? The way to avoid them is to let them know that you're coming. And the way that you do that is you shuffle your feet. So you just don't pick your feet up. So watch this. We go through the water. Just don't like you're skating. Like you're skating. Exactly. And what happens is they hear the sand moving and they swim away. But if you're walking like this, there's one chilling out in the sand and you're going to step on him and it's going to startle the stingray and it might hit you with it. Oh my gosh, you got a good picture now. He likes that, that sand. She's just a friend of the family because I know her through mom. Because, um... Alright, everybody, I need to have a seat, please. Go ahead and sit on your life jacket. Hi, my name is Danny Washington and I'm a naturalist here at the Biscayne Nature Center on Key Biscayne in Florida. And um, the reason why I work here is because I just love being outside and being able to interact with the people that come here to this nature center because they are exploring a place that is so special, so unique to not only our country but to our, our entire world. Florida has so many great things to offer. Nature is, I mean, just so abundant here. Life is everywhere and I really love being able to be here to share it with with all of these different people that come in, especially the kids. And um, it brings me so much joy because I know that they're the ones that have the future in their hands and that if we can share just enough information with them and, and share the beauty that and the passion that all the naturalists here have for the outdoors and marine life, that we know that these kids are gonna leave here and they're gonna remember this for the rest of their lives. And they're gonna be inspired to wanna do something to save our planet, to save the ocean that is so critical to life. And um, so I feel that my contribution is, is really um, powerful here, you know, as, as a naturalist because I get to share this passion with them. So I know that, um, you know, we're facing a lot of problems, a lot of issues in our, in our environment right now with global warming and overfishing, but I truly believe that if we can somehow bring more knowledge to our youth that we're going to be able to change the path that we're following right now and, and lead the destructive path and, and lead to a better future, a brighter future for our planet and our society. Because once we become one with nature, there's no going back. And, and I know that we'll live in so much more peace and harmony, you know, and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, children are the future. And it's, the more that they know about our natural world, the better off we are because they're going to be the ones that are going to save it. And they're going to want to do anything that they can to make sure that it remains here for when they're adults. So, so I think the Nature Center is very, very important.